Sup nerds, I'm Tom and I'm hanging out here with Todd from AEG. Todd, how you doing boss? I am doing incredibly well for a Sunday at Gen Con. Yeah, well Sunday's the chillest day at Gen Con if you've never been. It's it's really cool. Even like the, the uh, exhibitor hall closes at four, so like you get to just relax and take the pressure off, you know? Yep, that is the goal today, is just to have a little bit of fun, uh, play a lot of games with people as they come through and show them all our new stuff. Awesome, Blossman. Speaking of new stuff, we've got War Chest here. Todd, why don't you kind of take us through it real quick? Okay, so War Chest is a bag-building tactical war game. Um, it is a bit of an abstract. Uh, what you're doing is you are recruiting units uh, represented by these chips into your bag that you're later going to draw on uh, throughout the rounds to play on the board to try to control little control points. Uh, once you control a certain number of them, six in a one-on-one -on -one game and eight in a two-on-two -two game, uh, you win the game. Okay, very cool. So this is a, you would never really play this with three players, you would say? No, it's set up to either be a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-two -two team game. Um, in the one-on-one -on -one game, you only play within the lighter colored uh, hexes, and in the two-on-two, -two, you include the darker hexes to have a little more space to play in. Very cool, and I noticed there's these really nice looking like poker chip material. Is this like a deluxe version or is this come in the regular box? No, this, this is the standard version. Um, we worked really hard to make some really nice components for this game. And you can really feel it. You can feel that heft on them. They're fun to play with. They feel good in the bag. And we're just real happy with how they turned out. Very cool, very cool. Um, would you be able to like kind of show me like a round real quick or something? Yeah, absolutely. So at the beginning of the game, what you're going to do is you're going to draft four units. Now there's a possible 16 in the game. So every time you play, you're going to end up with a different mix of units. Each one has something unique about it, either something it can do or some effect that's always on with that unit. Um, so in this case, this player has gotten the swordsman, the pikeman, the light cavalry, and the crossbowman. So at the beginning of the game, what you're going to do is you're going to take the entire stack of all the crossbowmen, all the light cavalry, etc., and then you take the top two off each stack, and you put those into your bag. And then you also have this coin called the Royal Coin. Um, it's basically considered a face-down coin, which I'll explain in a minute, but everyone has one in their bag because it can also be used for a couple of other purposes. So you put that in, you shake everything up, you flip the initiative coin here to determine who goes first, and then you reach in your bag and you're going to draw out three coins without your opponent seeing what they are. I kind of saw it. I saw they were round. Uh, you knew they are round, so they are indeed coins. Uh, then we're going to begin with the player who had initiative, and we're going to go uh, one action, one action, one action, one action. Uh, without going into everything, basically the way it plays is you have... You begin the game with two of your control markers already on the board, because you'll see your little house symbol on those two. This is where you can deploy units to the board. Now later, if I'm uh, playing and I end up taking control of another one, I could then begin to deploy units from that one as well. So what I'll do on my turn is I'll look at my chips, and the very among the actions I can take is I can take one and deploy it onto the board. I can then discard a matching chip so in this case, it's the same unit, it's the pikeman, to then move that pikeman a space. Or if there was an enemy unit, let's assume this was the enemy beside me, I could discard the matching chip to attack that unit and remove it from the board. And a unit that's attacked is removed permanently from the game. So there will be an attrition throughout the game. Um, you're not gonna be able to play there forever. So the way you overcome that is by taking, uh, another action you can do is to take any coin, play it face, or discard it face down, to take one of your reserves and put it in your discard as well. Because later when your bag runs out and you can't draw any more coins, you're gonna take everything from the discard and put it back in there, and that's how you'll be recruiting. Um, as, as I said, the point is to take these control points. So if I have a unit there, I could also discard the matching unit. If you notice, it's important to have more of each unit in your bag. Yeah, you wanna get sets, right? Right, so I discard the matching unit, and then I can take control of that space. Same thing if I moved on to one of my opponent's spaces, I could take control of it that way. Um, uh, as I mentioned, each unit has some special abilities. So for instance, uh, the Light Cavalry says that uh, when I move it, and when I, when I discard the matching coin, it can actually move two spaces at once instead of just one. That, that's its, its ability. The Pikeman has the type of ability that isn't activated, but essentially if this is the opponent and the opponent attacks the Pikeman, it will kill the Pikeman chip, but it will also lose a chip as well. One way to overcome that is the last thing I'll explain, which is called bolstering. Let's say I have a unit on the board. 
if I have the matching unit, I can bolster them, which is basically like king and che uh, checkers. Now, if that unit gets hit, it will lose a coin, but it will maintain its position on that space. It's like hit points, for lack of a better term. And that's basically War Chest. You play back and forth, continuing to build your bag and deploy your units until in a two-player game you get control of six spaces. Looks really interesting. And how many different unit types come in this base box here? So the base box comes with 16 distinct units, all with their own focus. And as we said, in, a, in the game you'll be playing with any four of them. So you're going to get a different mix every time you play, and you have to come up with a new strategy and new tactics based on that mix. Okay, and I really like these little trays right here. That comes too? That does come with it, yes. The trays, the embroidered bags, uh, the rule book, all the cards, the board, and all the pieces that you see here. Really cool. And is this available just at Gen Con, or is it available now? Or? Right now it's been available at, Gen available at Gen Con. It will be in stores in the next uh, week or two. All right, real cool. So within the next week or two, we're going to have a um, purchase link for this game in the description box down below. Definitely go and check this one out. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored. Here we end with finger guns. You ready? Finger guns. Pew.